Welcome back. So I got a nice little package in the mail a few days ago from Thailand. Uh, this is actually an eBay purchase. And in speaking with the gentleman, it's actually where he retired to. So supposedly he moved his entire collection with him. There's a uh, photography collection, a bunch of old photos. A lot of the sporting news photos that we all kind of wondered where the heck they went, who bought them. Well, I'm pretty sure this guy bought a lot of them um, from what I've received already and what is on its way. So the one problem with dealing uh, with buying from someone in Thailand is it takes a while. And these took about a month to get to my door. It was shipped pretty much right away. Just took some time. So, this was a combination of um, general team lots, this being the Tigers, but also individual Greenberg lots. Um, once I brought it to his attention that I was interested in Greenberg photos. But let's start with some of the other stuff. So, we have a photo from 1930. He's all range 30s and 40s. Greenberg, some of the Greenbergs get a little bit later. I'm not going to bother too much with the some of these earlier ones. Mickey Cochran in the middle. Mickey Cochran again. That's a good example. We saw 1930 earlier, and this is the 1944 um, Tigers team. So Hank was obviously not on the field for that game. Nice batting practice image, 44. 1940 World Series. So you got Cincinnati Reds photo here. I just wanted to go through some of these first and then we'll get into the meat of the purchase if you will this is 34 World Series yep yeah. some fantastic images and all uh, sporting news archives stuff so some really interesting Tigers uniforms and it's also from 1930 last one was from 34 so that was the non PC stuff now of all those big pile of images let's see what we got for the collection so starting off a nice little portrait 1961 there are some type threes mixed in here which is okay now, got some duplicate ones that I forgot to pull put aside some non new ones I forgot to put aside easy to tell because they're already in sleeves and with backers but nice image with Bill Beak from 1960 we'll slowly go back in years as we go through these images 1957 when Hank was fired also 1957 when he was fired and then 
nice profile pick from 57 just before he was fired and Hank as a young executive that was from 1948 so his first year out of baseball toward the end of the year this is about the same time can't find a date on this but just looking generally at his age seemed about right we have the newlyweds 1947 basically visiting Pittsburgh that's the owner I think of the Pittsburgh Pirates if I remember correctly co-owner of the Pittsburgh Pirates Galbraith also a newlywed photo well within a couple years of them given how much he played that was in 46 coming to the end of the type threes this is 1945 just an interesting interesting image basically a rain delay when that was taken started the end of the season in 1945 doing with some just nagging injuries and then let's get into some earlier images some of the pre-war images 1940 World Series Game 5 third inning that's Greenberg launching a home run this is 1938 I believe iconic image of Greenberg swing again these all have sporting news stickers on them also 1938 if I remember correctly this is why I like to put them in sleeves and put um, all the info in the top corner nice dugout image from 37 another dugout image from 37 Hank in the middle again. It was in 36. Which I was right. Interesting off season photo. Obviously, before his married days. And this one actually still had the paper attached to it. Well, kind of attached to it. I was a shocker in Miami Beach. This is taken in January 1936. In 1934. And an image that I was very I actually overlooked this image and the original when I originally purchased the lot I did not catch this one and I'm happy it was in there this is 1930 spring training image um, this is Hank's first spring training first professional baseball experience and there's Greenberg all the way on the side nineteen thirty spring training Hank Greenberg from the Sporting News Archives. Really, really happy to make this addition to the collection because you just don't see the 
30 or 33 images, especially the 1930 images of Hank anymore, as everything is pretty much dried up. Collectors have bought lots in the past, and we are many, many years since many of these organizations, these newspapers, either went out of business or consolidated and sold their archives. So many, many years since then. So all this stuff has already been sold. It's already in private hands for the most part. Or it's in museums, collections. I don't know if the Hall of Fame purchased a bunch of stuff or not. Who knows? But it's just really hard to come across these images. And even with images like this, you don't even see reprints of. Like an image, this photo is a perfect example that it's such a small image and off to the side and not the, the sharpest focus is in the middle of the image so he's not gonna have the sharpest focus but this is not something that they make reprints of or at least that I've seen available because um, I will buy reprints because they're inexpensive a great way to add to the photos you the player collection that you have and again it, photographs are so there's so many different ones out there you can truly tell a story of a player both of their career and their life um, through a lot of the photos taken of them um, whether it's a star player Hall of Fame player like Greenberg or sometimes even the lesser known players you can get little snapshots here and there of the few that are available um, you know, one person I look for all the time is, is Arnovich there's not a lot of anything out there on him but sometimes the photos are, are a great way to again add to the story of the individual so that is the last image there's a nice 20 plus images I've added to the Greenberg collection in that one bulk purchase is multiple lots but it was dirt dirt cheap um, and I was happy that you know a lot of them had the markings and all of them have the sporting news stickers um, so I know at least where they originated and really just happy to have them as part of the collection and to continue to tell the overarching story of Greenberg um, from his earliest days in uniform to his final days um, so that's what I got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your LCS or local card show or simply talk about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it the more you'll learn the more your PC will grow the more <laughs> more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships your form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.